Now, I know what you're already thinking. Mactix, aren't you a Destiny YouTube channel? And yes, I am, but the problem with that is that my hunter has recently been taken hostage by Trent Tin Man Hollister, who's the kind of guy to go into an LFG server and type know what to do on his raid post when he himself does not actually know what to do. As such, I felt compelled to answer the call to arms to put an end to Trent's machinations. But Trent here is just one of the many bosses in Ubisoft's new mobile game, The Division Resurgence. And admittedly, when they asked to sponsor this video, I was skeptical, as you likely are right now, at the thought of playing a mobile game. But I have to admit, after running some missions, unlocking new weapons, upgrading my skill trees, and experiencing the world, I was more than impressed and happy to call it my on-the-go game of choice for when I'm stripped away from my at-home gaming system or just don't feel like getting out of bed. So please allow me to tell you all about it so you can join me in the fight against Trent Tin Man Hollister to save my hunter in the sanctity of LFG. In the Division Resurgence, New York City is on the verge of total collapse due to a widespread infection known as the Dollar Flu. In this post-apocalyptic setting, you are the last line of defense as an agent of the Strategic Homeland Division, a unit of elite agents that are tasked to save whatever remains. In the chaos of this catastrophe, various New World Order groups have formed to seize control through force and violence, much like our friend Trent from before. Your job as an SHD agent is to fight back to protect the surviving citizens and to restore order to a broken world. And like I said before, I want you to join me in the Division Resurgence to do just that. And you can do so by using the links I have for you down in the description below. The first link is for you to pre-register for the game, which is 100% free by the way, and will earn you an additional in-game reward. The second link, along with my personal code, will grant you an exclusive set of gear. However, the code will only work for the first 100 of you who use it so make sure to click that one quickly before it's all used up. Once you're pre-registered for the game, and for those lucky 100 of you have your exclusive gear, we can get on our way to defeating Trent and saving LFG. This game is centered around tactical warfare and cover-based shooting, where strategy and precision are extremely important. Typically, I tell folks that the number one way to improve at Destiny, or any shooter video game for that matter, is to understand the importance of playing cover, which is what is quickly making Resurgence one of my favorite mobile games thanks to how well the skill sets translate back and forth. Another skill set that translates really well is something that all of you who watch my channel are extremely familiar with, build crafting. There are tons of RPG and MMO style systems that allow for a surprisingly deep and complex experience for a mobile game. Being able to not only loot and upgrade various weapons, armor, and gear, but also being able to acquire gear sets that give perk set bonuses. And just like how we have subclasses in Destiny, the Division Resurgence ships with specialists. During my playtime, I primarily utilized the Demolitionist specialization, which came equipped with a sensor grenade, frag grenades, and a deployable turret that I could throw down to assist me in combat. And for my super, I could pull out a six round drum grenade launcher that was sure to put Trent in his place. So with my specialization selected and a few guns to my name, I ventured off on my journey to do just that where after completing the tutorial, I arrived at the first in-game base of operations, the Spring Blossom Settlement, where many remaining law-abiding citizens have come to seek refuge from the terror groups roaming the city. I was then off to dispatch some of Trent's underlings in order to confiscate their stolen medical supplies to bring back to the settlement. However, upon my return from scavenging the supplies, a nearby explosion required my attention surely Trent taunting me into carelessly walking into his Tin Man armies. Whilst meeting allies along the way, I continued through to the source of the explosion to eventually meet the man of my nightmares. It was truly a grueling battle for the ages, where I found myself on the brink of death time and time again. 
I tried to heal, but Trent was relentless, launching grenades at me to force my masterful skill expressions of maneuvering to and from cover. Trent was tanky, but what he didn't know is that I've got the biggest grenade launcher in the Midwest and a quick scoping history from my teenage gaming years. To my dismay, Trent rallied back up, reinforcing his armies and his own body, confirming that he is in fact the Tin Man the legends speak of. But unfortunately for Trent, my 9,000 hours of Ark Hunter gameplay have trained me in the arts of the role. He fired off ripsaw after ripsaw from his Mad Max crossbow, but I was far too agile for him. Turret after turret, grenade after grenade, and shot after shot, I finally defeated Trent Tin Man Hollister, saved my hunter, and restored order to LFG once and for all. Now, although this point was the originally anticipated end of our journey, I found myself struggling to sign out of the game for a whole myriad of reasons. The first is that I'm just simply impressed at the visual quality of the Division Resurgence, because on top of being a mobile game, I played and recorded on arguably one of the most low-tech iPhones in today's day and age. Like, my iPhone still has a home button, meaning that if you're on a phone from, I don't know, like not three years ago, this game is going to look even better than it does in the footage you're watching in this video. But this game still has so much more to offer that kept me hooked beyond the visuals, such as the massive amounts of guns and loot to be collected throughout the various missions and loot drops. I mean, seriously, there is a ton of assault rifles, SMGs, shotguns, and every other gun variant that you can think of. The Division Resurgence also has a very compelling story that I found myself very invested in right out of the gate. But the thing that has me most amped up about this game is probably the co-op and team play. Because one of my favorite aspects of games is being able to team up with my friends and family members and together tackle difficult missions, acquire rare loot, duke it out in PvP, and overall just enjoy a cool game together. And considering that Resurgence is planned to have seasonal updates every four months to introduce new missions, areas, enemy factions, and more, there will never be a shortage of content to enjoy solo or with others. So I once again want to give a huge thank you to Ubisoft for giving me the opportunity to experience the Division Resurgence early by sponsoring this video and for allowing me to present you with the two links down in the description to pre-register for the game and to unlock some exclusive loot. If you made it here to the end, sincerely, thank you so much for watching and as always, have a great day.